Hello my friends, you're doing there again from Oslo, Norway. My friend Sean just bought his uh, Umarex Glock 43 caliber paintball pistol. I don't have the Glock, but I have the PPQ. My pistol has a shorter barrel, so the velocity should be a bit lower than uh, what he uh, gets. Uh, <clears throat> at least in stock format. I have uh, changed the valve spring, which sits in the magazine. Put in the valve spring from uh, homedefense24.com. So big thanks to Florian for sending me it. And I also have some aluminium balls that Florian also sent me. 1.8 gram. So, uh, Installing the CO2 canister, loading it up. I don't want to show that uh, for another hundred times uh, as we have seen it before. So I'll do so off camera and uh, then we can uh, shoot at a tin can and measure velocity. I have both my cold world crony and x ray crony. Let's see if we can get some dual numbers. So uh, let's see how it goes. One moment. By the way. Aluminium balls are 27.8 grains. Uh, by the way, indoor temperature is about 21-22 degrees uh, Celsius. Outside temperature is uh, only 18, so it's a bit colder outside today. I have put up the colder crony. Let's see if uh, we can get some crony number for you. I'll try to use my extra dichrony also. I need to bend like this. Let's see, can we get the number? Also hitting that tin can there. Three oh seven. That should be correct. This one says one ninety. I don't think uh, the lighting is uh, perfect for it, so, uh, but we will see. There's the tin can, entry hole, exit hole. It is not like a super sturdy tin can, but uh, nonetheless it is uh, a tin can after all. Let's see if we can make some more holes in it. Not shooting at, uh, or, or that... Uh, Cold will crawl in. So let's see. Two ninety five. And again, another hole, another exit hole. Same thing. Let's continue. Maybe we can go around the can and uh, cut it. Two seventy-six. is inside this time. Two seventy three. Sixty-eight, 
through 63. some more. Two fifty nine. You can hear the ball spinning inside the tin can. So uh, yeah. Let's roll up some more shots. Two sixty four. The can is starting to get uh, really chewed up. Two sixty. That one passed through. Not exactly sure where I hit, but uh, yeah. Two sixty four. Let's see if I can hit the edge there. There's the ball. As you can see, it is. Uh, Quite chewed up. Two fifty seven. Not much holding it together now. Two fifty six. <laughs> wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Cut down can in half with uh, just sixteen shots. Two fifty eight. Even more wobbly. Two fifty five. It seems almost impossible to hit that last thread. Two fifty four. That was the last shot. I think I skip uh, trying to shoot it. Let me load up uh, again and uh, just uh, get some more chrono numbers. They can uh, nix. Some of the balls, I'm not sure if it is visible there. 
it is. So, uh, how much it will uh, affect accuracy, velocity? With all that's uh, hard to say. But I'm not going to continue shooting at that can. Just uh, into the trap here. Two sixty five, two fifty eight, two fifty three, two fifty. I just read the number two forty one. Clean out the trap there. 244, 234, 227, and we're out of ammo. So, yeah, it sure kills a tin can. Hanging by a couple of small threads there. It seemed uh, almost impossible to hit that uh, small threads. So uh, about one and a half magazine in, it looked looked like this. So uh, 10, 12 shots, and it was like that. So uh, it should still be some CO2 left, but uh, let's empty it out. That wasn't much. Yes. With a full uh, CO2 canister. You should get about 48 shots from one CO2 uh, canister, and uh, with uh, the softer valve spring in, you should get uh, oof, 30, about so 30-35 shots from the CO2 canister. So you get 10-12 uh, shots less than if you have the stock valve spring. So, very cool pistol. I've had it for several years now. And I think I have shot uh, maybe close to a thousand rounds. I think. Still works. Just remember to lubricate it. So, cool paintball pistol. So good luck, luck to Sean. I think he will get uh, more power from his block because of the longer barrel. So, yes. Okay. Just some tin can shooting and power testing. Hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.